Hello, are you greeted with this message every time you start OBS? It says safe mode, OBS did not shut down properly during your last session. Uh, would you like to start in safe mode? Uh, if you run in safe mode, uh, a lot of the features are disabled. That is, so if you've genuinely had a problem with OBS, you can run it in safe mode to get it started. If maybe you've installed a plugin that's making it crash. Um, if you're anything like me, this message comes up every time you start OBS and you can click run normally and it runs absolutely fine. This seems to come up when it thinks it hasn't, when it thinks OBS hasn't shut down properly. So it thinks it's crashed. Yeah, I get this every single time I start it up. One of the most common fixes is said to, is to uh, make sure that you stop the replay buffer before you close OBS. But I do that and I close OBS and then I restart it. And then I get this every time, even if I've rebooted the computer, start OBS and this comes up saying it did not shut down. I have to click run normally. It doesn't really hurt anything having to click run normally every time, but it's, it's just an annoyance because it thinks it didn't shut down properly. There is an easy way around this. What you need to do is add to your shortcut to OBS, add dash dash disable dash shutdown dash check. So for that, you go to the shortcut to your OBS, wherever it is, go to the properties um, and you will have a target line with um, probably with speech marks around it, speech marks, mine's on G, yours is probably probably be on C by default, OBS studio, yada, 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 and uh, it ends obs64.exe uh, and then a speech mark. You want one space after the speech mark and then this dash dash disable shutdown check. Uh, I will put this exact line into the description below the video so you can cut and paste it. Paste that in after that with a space between the speech mark and where the two dashes start. And then when you apply that, uh, it will when you run it, it will ignore the, uh, the the check to see if it crashed. Now, if you if you've got a problem with OBS actually crashing, this could cause you a problem because it'll stop you running safe mode. So if if you do have something crash OBS and it won't start up, you need to come back into to this shortcut and you need to remove that line because if if you genuinely have got crashing, uh, that line does not want to be there because it will stop you getting to uh, to this safe mode prompt. So yeah, paste that in there, apply that, then. Uh, when you double click it, it will start up without checking whether it's shut down properly. If you do have a problem, make sure that line is the first thing, the first thing you remove. I've been reading that in the latest, in the very latest version of OBS, this isn't working at the moment. It's been removed for some reason. I'm on version 31.03 uh, and this solves the problem for me. If anything changes with the new version and it can, it's confirmed that something else works for that, I will add a second video or or update this one. But uh, yeah, for anything other than the newest version of OBS, this should work uh, for you too. Let me know in the comments what version you were using and whether or not this worked with it. If you want more useful tips like this for streaming and Twitch related stuff and YouTube related stuff, please click the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.